What a girl, what a world, what a light. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. <laughs> with Jim Backus in Life. be at this time of night. Well, I'll get it, dear. You're the one who's sleepy. Yes, but maybe it's for me. Yes, but in case it isn't, you can be sleeping. <laughs> oh, Joni. Why, Mabel, what's wrong? <laughs> huh? It's that monster I married to. Oh, another fight, huh? Well, sit down and tell me all about it, you poor dear. That Harvey's such a beast. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that he's... He is a beast. Admit it. Go on. He's a beast. <laughs> but don't you think that you... I hate him. Everybody hates him. I bet you hate him, too. Well, no, I don't. Joan, if you were a friend of mine, you'd hate him, too. I hate him. <laughs> Now, I think if you two... I really think I should leave him. Don't you? Oh, leaving your husband is a very serious thing, Mabel. Joan Stevens, telling me to stay with this monster who yells at me and insults me? You call yourself a friend of mine? Leave him. You're right. Oh, thank you, darling, for your advice. I'm going to follow it. Huh? I'm going right home and tell that husband of mine. Night, <laughs> dear. You're such a friend. Now, don't do anything. You're going to be so... <laughs> Brad? Huh? What? 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 If it wasn't for you, dear, you can go to sleep now. <laughs> My coffee, dear. Oh, yes, yeah, thanks, dear. Say, who was that last night, anyway? Well, there was Mabel. She had another fight with Harvey. Oh, <laughs> again? Yeah. <laughs> Poor kid, she thinks it's the real thing this time, though. Said she was going to leave him. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Well, the way they carry on it. Come in. Oh, good morning, Bradley. Good morning, Mabel. Well, Mabel, what have you got there? I'm not speaking to you. I believe you will find everything here that I have ever borrowed from you. And now we can consider our friendship ended once and for all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fine friend you are, calling my poor sweet Harvey a beast, saying you hated him. But I didn't say it. You, you said that. That's different. He's my husband, not yours. The idea suggesting that I leave him. Well, I didn't advise you. It was your idea. Joan, I never think of leaving Harvey, and you know it. He was so sweet when I came home, and so sorry. Did he leave a man like that? And you call yourself my friend. I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> well, how do you like that? Well, it's your own fault, honey. When are you going to learn not to get involved in other people's private lives? But I didn't, Brad. Uh, uh, Joni, with married people, never take sides. You're darn right. <laughs> well, how did I... Oh, well, never again. Believe me, this has been a lesson to me. Advising her, for heaven's sake, she... Joni, Joni, what, what are you doing? Oh, well, there's a brand new married couple just moved in down the street, dear. And I thought it'd only be neighborly to see if they needed anything. Now, listen, Joni, you better be careful. You may get involved. Involved? How can I get involved, dear? I'm just going down to meet the new couple. Only the neighborly thing to do. It was nice of you to drop in, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, well, I was just walking by, dear, and I noticed your house, and I was wondering if you'd like to borrow a cup of sugar. 
I always carry an extra one in case. Oh, well, thanks very much, but I have plenty of sugar. You have? Well, uh, how are you fixed for salt? Oh, I have plenty of salt, too. Pepper? You need any grapefruit? <laughs> well, you certainly have a nice place here, Mrs. Regan. Oh, thank you very much. My husband and I just love it. He's dressing. He'll be right out. Won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Uh, your husband is home this time of day? Well, what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind telling me. I just found out. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Tom's always leaving his hat in the silliest places. You can say that again. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'd like you to meet my husband, Tom. This is our neighbor, Mrs. Stevens. How do you do, Miss Stevens? Well, how do you do? Very nice of you to drop in and pay us a visit. Oh, well, I know how it is when you move into a strange neighborhood. Uh, my husband, he's a judge, you know. Well, anyway, when we moved into the neighborhood, naturally we were strange. And, well, Mabel, she's my next-door neighbor. She decided to play us a little neighborly visit. And I was so appreciative, believe me, she and I have been the closest of friends ever since. Oh, really? You must introduce me to her. I can't. We're not speaking. <laughs> well, I'm sure Louise and I will be very happy in this neighborhood, won't we, darling? Mm. Say, you two wouldn't be newlyweds by any chance. Uh, how'd you know? Oh, I just took a wild guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you spent your honeymoon in Las Vegas. No, huh? I wanted to spend our honeymoon in Las Vegas, but Tom felt it would be too expensive. Well, Brad, um, that's the judge, you know. <laughs> uh, we spent our honeymoon in Las Vegas. It was the first time I'd ever been there. Oh, we had a wonderful time. Gosh, when I think how wonderful it really was. Well, sure, if you don't gamble. They have gambling there? <laughs> well, I don't think it really matters where a couple honeymoons, Miss Stevens. As long as they're together, that's the important thing. Well, of course it does. Well, I don't know. I would have loved honeymooning in Las Vegas. Louise, for Pete's sake. Tom, please, we have company. Well, I think I'll be running along. I'm aware of that. Why aren't you? And just what do you mean by that? Well, I felt badly enough about not being able to afford a trip to Las Vegas without having it discussed in front of our new neighbor. Oh, now, don't worry Tom about Regan. Really. I... No one expects you to spend money that you don't have. But after all, my folks did give us a check that would have more than covered the expense. It just so happens I like to pay my own way on my own honeymoon, if you don't mind. Look, I think... Well, I do mind. To me, it's just silly masculine pride. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Look, kids, I'm sorry that I even oh. mentioned Las Vegas. Oh, look, it speaks to me this way in front of her. Oh, don't mind her. I mean me. And honest, Las Vegas wasn't so great. Listen, Louise, you started this whole thing. No, I did. And come to think of it, we had a lousy time in Las Vegas. Back home one day and you're fighting with me already. Oh, besides, honey, I lied to you. We didn't even go to Las Vegas. You're the one who's fighting with me. I think it was Pismo Beach. And all because I couldn't afford a honeymoon to Las Vegas. Oh, you'd hate Las Vegas. It's unbearably hot. Oh, Tom, how could you? Why, the only relief that you can get from the heat is to go into the gambling casino. The dice are very cold. You knew how much I wanted to go to Las Vegas? All right, then go. But without me. <laughs> Your husband won't mind my staying with you for a while, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, of course not. Brad's a doll. But don't you think that you ought to go back to Tom? It was just a little fight. It doesn't mean a thing. No, it was a big fight. And on our first day home... Oh, I know. But you love Tom and he loves you. And if you don't go home, I could... Oh, hello, honey. Oh, hello, dear. Ah. Well, uh, company. Uh, yes, uh, this is Louise Regan, uh, my husband, Judge Stevens. Oh, hello, Louise. Brad, Louise is going to live with us. Let's eat. Oh, that's fine. Uh, 
I beg your pardon. Oh, well, you see, Judge, my husband and I just moved in down the street. Oh, oh yes, yes, you're the, uh, the new neighbor. That's right. And this afternoon when Mr. Stevens came over and this terrible quarrel started, and then when I realized the kind of a man I had married... Oh, you realized after the, my wife dropped in for a visit. That's right, and I'm so grateful to him. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Uh, dinner's ready, dear. Joan, I'd like a few words with you. What, and let everything burn? Oh, my gosh, the potatoes. Now, look, Joan, I... Will uh, you excuse me, Mrs. Regan? <laughs> Joan, after your wife... What? Joan, the... Oh, hot. Honey, when you're through playing with the potatoes, bring them in, please. With plenty <laughs> Will you serve the soup, honey? Now, now, look, Joan. Stop this nonsense. I, I don't wish to have a scene in front of Mrs. Regan. So if you just... Soup's getting cold. Anybody for soup? Well, Joan, I... What's your favorite lover? Cream of mushroom. Uh, oh, well, all right. Maybe we should forget this thing for the time being and sit down and have dinner like calm, rational people, and then afterwards we can... This isn't cream of mushroom. It's celery. I know, but you don't calm down for celery the way you do for mushroom. Men are such babies. Joan, on second thought, I think we should settle this thing once and for all. Mrs. Regan. Yes, Judge? How did Joan happen to break up a brand new marriage in just one visit? Oh, but she didn't. It was my husband. I thought I loved Tom and that he loved me. But he... he... Now see what you've done. What I have done. Oh, eat your soup. not cats, it's Louise. Oh, the poor dear. Is she still crying? I feel so sorry for her. Oh, honey, this is ridiculous. Louise feels miserable. You feel miserable. Tom probably feels miserable. And as for me, I don't know. I can't. Fred, how can you think of yourself at a time like this? Well, someone's got to think of me. Besides, I'm not thinking only of myself. It's those kids. Johnny, they love each other, and Two young people in love need each other and should be as one. They've got to be brought together. Oh, Brad, that's beautiful. Yes, and, well, and I, and I am going to get them together. So they can be as one? No, so I can get some sleep. <laughs> what are you going to do, Brad? Well, now, don't you worry, Joan. I'll be, I'll be gentle with her. It seems that he's too stubborn to come to her, and I'm going to talk her into going to him. Fine. I'll help you, honey. No, 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 Joanie. Please, please, dear. Anything but that. But I... No, no, honey. You just stay right here in bed. Yes. That's my good girl. Good night. <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Reagan, would you, uh, come down here a minute, please? Louise. 
I just came to say goodbye and thanks for everything. You're going back to Tom. The judge convinced me it was the right thing to do. Oh, he's always right. He's so clever and understanding and, and right. He can always convince everybody about everything. <laughs> well, you know, I, I almost didn't make it this time. Louise is a mighty stubborn little lady. I used every argument I could think of, and it wasn't until I told her about the fight that we had when we were first married that I got anywhere with her. <laughs> Our first fight? Yeah. Wasn't it a beauty? Oh. Uh, what part of it convinced Louise, Brad? Oh, honey, you know the part where we had the fight, and, and you ran out in the street and went to stay at the YWCA, and, and I stayed here, and you wouldn't come back here, and I wouldn't go there, and finally you came back at four in the morning to apologize. Huh? <laughs> no, no, Brad. Uh, you came to me and apologized. No, honey, I remember it. It was... Uh, uh, that, uh, what? No, I, I was staying at the Y, and you uh, came no, over... No, no, now listen. <laughs> you came back here begging me to forgive you. I distinctly remember. Listen, lover. I distinctly remember, as good as you distinctly remember, and I distinctly remember that you... I came begging you to forgive me. Yes. <laughs> you said. <laughs> Does great big Waddy still love his bad itty wifey? If great big Waddy doesn't stop making up great big stories, his itty bitty wifey stomach's gonna turn. No, lover. <laughs> Don't lover me, lover. Why, if you think that I'm the sort of a girl who would beg any man to, you're mistaken. And besides, any girl who hasn't got enough pride to go crawling back to her husband she ought to have her head examined. <laughs> Why, because if her husband had an ounce of respect for her, a smidgen of love for her, uh, he would come to her. And besides, if he doesn't come to her, it shows that he doesn't love her, and he never did. No! Oh, does Great Big Waddy still love his bad itty wifey? See, I said it, Louise. I say it all the time. Louise, wait, I say it all the time. I'd like the number of the international airport. Thank you. Well, Brad, don't just stand there like a lump of clay. Say something. Do something. Do something, eh? No, I take it back. Well, just stand there like a lump of clay. What time does the next plane leave for Reno? Louise, no! Louise, you mustn't. 7 a.m.? I'd like to make a reservation for one. Regan. Mrs. Tom Regan. Thank you. Louise. Maybe he'll come. Maybe he's on his way right now. No, he's on duty tonight. He must be at the firehouse now. But, Judge Stevens, would you please drive me to the airport? The airport? I may go with you all the way to Reno. <laughs> oh, Brad, no! No! I tell you what, you two wait here, and I'll find Tom, and I'll fix everything. Ding, 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 ding. Tom Regan, I gotta find Tom Regan. Where is he? Tom's up there. Up there?
on, sister? I, I gotta talk to that fireman. But it's very important. What do you think he's doing, playing hopscotch? But I'm honest, please, let me No. Come. come on, let's get back under the rope. Come on. Miss Stevens hadn't helped us. I don't know. We certainly do owe her a lot, don't we, darling? Oh, we sure do. Mm. Who could that be? Come in. <laughs> Miss Stevens. What's the matter? Oh, the things he said to me. He called me everything but a... I think he called me that, too. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 Miss no, Stevens. Oh. oh, there you are, honey. I never meant those things I said to you. You didn't? No, of course not. I was so frightened when I heard what happened at the fire, and I never intended going to Reno with Louise. You didn't? No, oh, cross my heart. I don't know why, Joni, but, but I love you. Come back with me, lover. Well, I will if you say it. Say it? Oh, honey, not in front of the kids. I couldn't really. All right, then I won't come back. Well, all right. Does Boo fall on your knee? Huh? Oh. Oh. Does Boo fall Joni still love her bad itty hubby? Yes. <laughs> Tonight's cast were Hal March, Mary Ellen Kay, Michael Reagan, Hal Tigert, Phil Arnold, Geraldine Carr, Frank Stanlow, and Robert Spencer. 